What is it, dragons? This is Aragon, and I just wanted to show something that uh, I actually started building quite a while ago, back in when 1.5 had just uh, had just come out. Um, this is basically an entire train station that I just built for no reason. <laughs> um, yeah, so I I just kind of wanted to show off like what I had done. That is not supposed to be there. Oh, that's a glass block, okay. I think that's a glass block. Let me check. Good, it's a glass block. Okay, I thought I did something wrong. Um, anyways. So, I kind of built this, and at the time, I didn't really have a plan in mind of what this was going to look like. I kind of I kind of just built it all above ground, just for, for kind of uh, demonstration purposes. Um, so, yeah. Let me just kind of go through uh, what the station does. Well, obviously it sends out trains, but um, just kind of how it works. So, just to give you an idea, um, you would not have a grand staircase leading up to a bunch of exposed redstone with, well, or with glass around it in my case. Um, I built this up because I built all that above ground for demonstration purposes, and also I'll get to the, why the redstone is laid out that way later. Um, basically, oops, sorry, I just hit my microphone. Um, this, where, this block, um, this block would be ground level, so that's grass. Um, so, just to kind of show you, the only redstone that would be above ground, or I guess really, a, none of the redstone over here would be above ground. These, these redstone torches would be, well, actually, Oh, that's right, physics. Um, these would just kind of be holes in the ground. Um, they wouldn't really be above ground. You'd, you'd just kind of see um, some redstone torches and then redstone repeaters in between them with a line of redstone going that way. That's really all you would see um, as for the above ground part, and I'll get to what's exposed over there later. But this is basically how it works. Um, you enter, you can really enter on either side, doesn't matter. And you come in here. Uh, this station itself, it can be, if you have the rails for it, and the patience for it, and the redstone stuff for it, which I'll show you how I wired that later, it can be extended out as far that way as you want. You can kind of see the tracks over there. It's split into two, so there's six tracks on one side, six tracks on the other. And this station itself is built to support 12. Um, but you can extend it as long as you extend the tracks back there and extend that track back there. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of show you how it works. Uh, let's go to destination one. And right away, um, also I should mention the only things I changed today recording this, um, this right here, um, not the panel, but this was originally at the same level of this. Um, but the safety mechanism right there with the detector rail, um, unfortunately made that a little bit, uh, broken. And also I'm in 1.8.4, so it's still a bit broken, but, um, I unfortunately had to move this up, so it's not exactly how it would look if you built this in a multiplayer server, but it's close, and I'll show you the safety mechanism later. Um, so as you can see, I have just flipped the de destination one level le level lever, and you can see the redstone back there activated. Um, that redstone right there is um, part of it. It's not really uh, the station, but you can see that station's activated. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> um, so, actually, first of all, let's pretend like this wasn't here. Let's pretend like neither of these were here, really. Um, what you do in, um, of course, on a multiplayer server, unless you built this in creative, you wouldn't be able to have a command block. But this is basically summoning a writable minecart at those coordinates um, for this block right here. And as you can see, it just summons a minecart right on top of the track. And yeah, so destination one is selected. And, um,. I'll go through the technicals later, but you come out here, right along there, come out your station, and uh, obviously this redstone wouldn't be right here. Uh, this would, this is actually, well, here, I'm, I'm going to show you that right now. 
So I still have the grass block. If you saw ground level back there is actually on this block, it's uh two below the station. Um, so this is actually ground level, this track right here. So um, the only thing you'd really see is this track coming up, going around, and just kind of a hole here with the track right there. Um, yeah, and obviously the redstone would be a little bit more compacted. I just dragged, hello, pickup. I just dragged it out for demonstration purposes, but it would obviously be a little bit more stacked on top of each other. Um, probably going, preferably going further underground, but um, I don't think, oh, I did make it deep enough. I don't know why. Never mind. Um, but all these tracks just come out here, and uh, they would just continue off in whatever direction you're going. And uh, um, yeah, and all those signs are just there for me when I was built, when I was wiring up the redstone. But uh, now I'm going to show you a little bit more of the technical stuff. So let me grab. Actually, I needed that grass block. Did I? I don't know. Let me grab minecart grass block and. Um, so as you can see, this is the redstone for each side. It's reflected directly across. Um, it's alternating between them for that that way n none of the lines intersect. So uh, they're obviously not activated on the same level. Otherwise, that would create uh, a little bit of complications. Um, I could have, of course, I didn't know this at the time that I built this. Of course, I could probably improve it in version two. Um, you could just alternate between repeater, dust, repeater, dust, and then have it do the um, trick going down with repeater and block. If that makes sense. Um, as you know, well, the other thing I recently changed was this. I didn't originally have ground level here, but I decided, you know what, kind of looks ugly with all this stuff around. So uh, this right here was actually not planned for ground level. I didn't realize the redstone would be poking out. So yeah, all of the other stuff besides this track and the top block of the building, uh, is that top two blocks? Top two blocks of the building are underground though. So um, if you wanted to make it one block of the building, you could just pull it down one extra block and have everything shift down. But um, that's besides the point. Beside the point, I mean, um, everything's surrounded in glass just to kind of represent that. Hey, there would be blocks here. And of course there would be blocks here too, but this just kind of made it easier for me to uh, put all the tracks in. I didn't have to uh, kind of go in between here. Um, and I didn't put all the glass down here. I don't think I did at least. Let me check. No, I did not. Okay. Because uh, I didn't really want to place that many glass blocks. But um, yeah, so the redstone comes out the side. Uh, some of it loops that way. I think there's only one piece that I actually sent underground, and it was for, uh, why did I send that one underground? That's right, because it came out over here, um, and I wasn't really thinking about it at the time, but, but, you know. So those all just loop around and go to their respective tracks. Uh, these two I didn't plan. Of course, I didn't plan really any of this, really. Um, these two just kind of hop over the rest, and obviously they would be underground. Um, probably further down. Uh, Alright, so now I'm going to get to the safety mechanism. Uh, I'm probably going to have to break a little bit of glass here. You just break three on each side. So the safety mechanism basically acts like this, and I actually need weight in the minecart for it to work properly, but um, basically if a train, or a minecart in this case, comes out of the station it passes over this detector rail, which um, is sort of not really reflected on the other side. Um, so let me actually demonstrate over here because this one's a bit, just a bit more complicated because of uh, how close I put the redstone right there and that mechanism right there. Um, basically, it passes over the t the detector rail. Um, I'm gonna have to get in here. It activates this torch, turns it off, which activates this redstone torch, which activates both, uh, well actually just activates this T flip-flop switch, and uh, I just want to clear up really quickly, the reason it wasn't, or it, it's not a hopper dropper T flip-flop was because uh, at the time I only knew, I, I didn't really feel like messing with the hopper dropper T flip-flop because I didn't really ha I 
have it perfected back then, and this is the only one where I knew it had an inverted signal that I could just pop off of instead of building a whole bunch of extra stuff. Uh, also, this right here is just to keep these tracks activated for when you drop back in, which I need to show off. Hello. Probably should have planned this video better, but um, this basically turns off this torch, which activates the T-flip up. Um, turns on this torch, which goes through this block over here, comes down over here, and uh, turns off this lamp and these two minecarts. Uh, I don't really know why I have the lamp there still. I can remove it, but why did I save minecarts? Turns off these two power grill sections, which makes it to where if another minecart comes out right behind that one, it uh, it stays there for a few seconds, and I believe. Let's see, one, two, four, six, I think I have this set to six seconds about. So after six seconds, it reactivates the T flip-flop, which, uh, um, I'm trying to think. Hold on. Oh, that's right, I had the repeater going that way. Yep, right, I, I'm, I'm caught up now, sorry. I did this so long ago, I don't even remember my own red, redstone um, stuff. Let me make sure really quick, because I don't think this is activating both sides. What am I saying? It does the same thing. So, basically it comes back in here, reactivates the T flip-flop, turns this inverted signal back on, which uh, turns off the torch and lets the powered rails up there. Uh, reactivate and let's the minecart go ahead and uh, yeah um so let me see where my escape hole is right here okay so that's how the safety mechanism works it's uh it's worked every time I've tried it um anyways now let me show off what this extra track up here is for so this thing is about 90% idiot proof. Um, if someone doesn't activate the stations, and I meant to fix this, but I didn't. If someone doesn't have any of the stations turned on, let me get rid of this, these blocks. Um, basically what that track is for is it basically loops you around to the other side in case you just didn't activate, a, uh, or in case you didn't go on the right side. And I meant to have it to where it kind of splits off in the middle, and now it's just going to kind of keep going infinitely. Um, but yeah, it just kind of keeps you looping around, and eventually I need to have a system to where it um, takes a minecart off. If it if there's no station activated, I'll probably just have... Um, oh yeah, I could just have a straight... Oh no, I couldn't. I could just have a uh, redstone line coming off of each of these, and activating a track that turns it this way um, but yeah so this is basically what I have done so far um, and yeah I plan on building a, a different version soon where there's just slight uh, improvements such as that uh, extra safety mechanism over there um, kinda getting this all underground um, and fixing the part right there where it's kind of jutting into the station a little bit. Yeah, after I do all that, I may or may not post another video kind of updating where I have gotten with it. But yeah, that's all for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to add a new hatchling to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.